Hello everyone, this is Balu. Welcome to my channel Shilgif. In this video, I am going to discuss about eccentric out of plane connection. Here I am telling that this is out of plane connection because whatever the load that is acting and also whatever the weld, both are in different planes and both are in the perpendicular planes here. If you consider whatever the board as a plane, the load lies in the plane of the board and coming to the weld, it is perpendicular to the board. So, both are in the different planes. So, we are calling it as out of plane connection. Now, whatever the load which is acting at an eccentricity, I am just adding whatever the load that is P in the top and also in the bottom direction. Similarly, whatever I have did in the bolted connection and coming to this both P is going to create a couple here that is a bending moment PE and this P is going to create shear across this weld. Here you can see this is a cross section of this weld of length of weld here it is clearly given LW is the length of the weld and coming to the whatever the bending moment of intensity P into E and P is the shear which is going to act across the centroid of the weld. Now let us resolve whatever the load transformation from this eccentric load to the bending moment and shear. Here you can see this is the direct shear stress is nothing but the load by the whatever the shear area. Here these are the two cross sections of the weld in which it is going to resist this shear stress. So coming to the cross sectional area of this weld that is length of weld into throat thickness but here there are two cross sections are there so I am multiplying with the two and this is the throat thickness TT and this is the length of weld T LW. So if you multiply with these two you are going to get the each cross sectional area and coming to the throat thickness it is nothing but K into S. K is the constant which depends on the angle of fusion phases. Basically it is taken as K equal to 0.7 for the 60 degrees to 90 degrees angle of fusion phase. And S is the size of the weld. And coming to the bending stress, it is nothing but M by Z which is going to give P into E by the throat thickness into length of weld square by 6. How this section modulus is going to be considered is here the whatever the load which is acting it is going to bend with respect to this xx axis. So with respect to this xx axis this throat thickness is considered as for example B and coming to the length of weld it is D. Now with respect to xx axis Z is nothing but BD square by 6 which you all know you have studied in the strength of materials. So BD square by 6 here in place of B you have to substitute throat thickness and D is nothing but length of weld square by 6. This is nothing but the section modulus which I have substituted here. As per IS 800 2007, the interaction formula for both bending and shear in case of weld is nothing but so square root of summation of bending stress square plus 3 times the square of shear stress and it should be less than or equal to the weld design strength and weld design strength is nothing but FU by root 3 gamma MW which is given in the IS 800. So, the whatever the equivalent stress it should be less than or equal to the weld design strength and coming to the one important thing I have to say for example this is a beam and this is a load which is acting that is P and it is going to create the moment in this beam and if you consider this is a cross section of this beam if you look this beam in this direction and this is a cross section and this is nothing but B and this is nothing but D and this beam is going to bend in this direction. So with respect to which axis this beam is going to bend you have to identify the axis perfectly. Here for this beam this is a cross section and with respect to this axis that is xx this beam is going to bend. So for that axis whatever the section modulus you have to calculate that is nothing but for example this is B and this is D. BD square by 6 is nothing but the section modulus for this beam whenever it is going to bend with respect to xx axis. Similarly in the welding case for example this is a column and this is a bracket which is welded and this is a point load P which is acting it is going to bend in this direction. So if you look 
in this direction this is the weld of this plate across the thickness now you have to consider this is the axis of the bend of this weld so according to this axis you have to calculate the section modulus so identification of the axis is very very important to calculate the section modulus okay thank you